I'm building a tall cabinet with adjustable lighted shelves and I'm using brass bars on each side of the cabinet as my DC rails. One side will be a positive and one side will be a negative. But I wanted to show how easy this brass is to mill. This brass bar is 360 brass. It's a free machining brass. It's pretty easy to cut through. Uh, this bar measures three quarters inch wide by a half inch thick and they're almost eight feet long. I've drilled a series of holes every 32 millimeters in the bar and I did this on my drill press with the number 29 brass cutting drill bit. That was pretty easy to cut too. Now I have to tap out each one of these holes for a number 832 screw and to do this I'm going to use a drill that's set up in a right angle jig and there's the tap. But what's nice about this free machining brass is that it's so easy to mill that you really don't have to reverse the tap as you go through. The reverse operation is just to get the tap out, it's not to break off the chips. And I can even tap this dry. I'm not using any lubricant. I'm going slow enough that the tap never really even heats up. There are about 60 holes in each bar. To try to do this all by hand would be very time consuming. So what I've done is I've set the bar and I've put one of the holes over a hole that's already in the work surface. And I'll just set my guide and uh, drill into place. It's kind of hard to do one handed. Normally I'd put a hand down on the base to stabilize it and to keep it tight to the face. But here I'll go through the brass with the tap in one operation. And there we go, we're through that half inch bar. We'll reverse the drill and bring it back out. I have the clutch set at a low torque setting just in case something grabs, but so far that's not been a problem. This is an easy way to tap all these holes and do it in a quick fashion. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.